Now for one more. This one is to thank like YouTubers, uh, people that were just influential in my life and give kind of a brief description on that too. So first I'm gonna start with Blexit and Brandon Tatum. Tatum, thank you so much. You were hugely influential to helping me learn to be accountable and to own up to my actions. And I know that there will be things that you might not agree with in my campaign, and I get it. I do. But I do want to also tell you thank you, a special thank you for teaching me that, teaching me that lesson. I, I did learn. And thank you to Blexit. They, they were huge. They found me at my lowest point, and... They, it was because of Blexit that a lot of this stuff happened. They, they got me going back to my church and, you know, thank you to the Gate Church. I love them. Uh, I'm more of a Southern Baptist kind of guy, so. But thank you guys so much over there at Blexit. And thank you, Mr. Tatum. It, that really did mean a lot. Uh, thank you to Tom McDonald. Uh, dude, you, you, you're not even American. Well, you're American now, but you came here from Canada. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, though. You helped, me, you helped on the aspect of trying to restore the faith in this country, dude. And I think you deserve some thank yous for that because I mean a lot of your music I listen to it, dude. And thank you, somebody that actually understands America and what needs to be done. Um, I want to say thank you to. Let's see, God, I, I read a quite a decent thank you list there thank you to people like hodge twins and uh you know uh, lionel harris uh dave chappelle who's been going under stuff thank you uh you guys you taught me to learn to laugh at yourself learn to enjoy life and and not take things serious Dave Chappelle was su super hugely instrumental in that. And I want to tell him thank you. Dude, I, that's the reason I can laugh at myself and take a joke. It's because of you. Um, I also want to say thank you to ICP. I know this is where people are going to have a hard time listening, but give me a reason. To, give me a chance to explain the reason. ICP has been strongly misunderstood for a long time. And unless you actually go through, you know who these people are, you've studied the lyrics, at face value, I can understand where you're coming from. But at the same time, you gotta also understand there was a point in time where they had released Shangri-La and Hell's Pit, and there was two different paths you could follow, and I followed what was the Shangri-La path, more aligned to God, and, and there's a lot of meaning in their messages. You have to actually understand, because if you do not, you're never gonna get it, and I, the, the things that came from, I learned from them is, you know, things like friends or family. And that was hugely influential into my life. Uh, and the other big thing, the one time that I actually felt like I was united around people where there was no skin, no genders, no none of that. It was when I was at, when I was around other jugglos at juggalo events. It, 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 there was no, there was no skin color, no nothing. None of it existed. Everybody was on, everybody was equal. We were all on the same page. And that showed me that we can actually do it. It can be done. There's just got to be a way to do it. And I'm going to work on trying to find that way. Because 
uh, having everybody live together without not. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand there's some bad elements, and I I get it. That has to be. I would love to see that fixed, but you know that that's something that takes time. And when you remove the positive influences from an area, that's what happens. Um. So I want to tell them thank you. You did have an impact on someone in a positive sense. Um, and I want to say thank you to Dashy Games. Dude, without your YouTube videos keeping me entertained, dude, you taught me to have a good time and laugh. You and DGR, uh, you DGR, Team Four Star. Oh yeah, I wanna. I'll get to that in a second. UDGR, freaking some of the music artists. I mean, and that's another thing I learned from ICP is music helps us learn to unite. And I learned that from a lot of other musics as well. But because that was where I was at, it, it was understood. But. Thank you to a lot of those people. Y'all had a lot of influence in my life. Uh, I know I look at people like Disney. Disney was a... I know people have their judgments with him too, but I'm talking about Walt himself. Yes, I knew he could be a total pain. But he he seen things through a different point of view almost childlike eyes when he was doing stuff for his part so i i have kind of a personal care and feel for that i i really i appreciate that and doug walker uh nostalgia critic with all his people guys over at voice play Thank you, Jay Nunn, for what you're doing for our country. Uh, the guys at Voice Play. Um, all the, I, I know this is another piece, MAGA rappers, but I'm sorry. They had a lot of influential parts that helped me kind of figure out where I was at. Bryce and Tyson and all them. But understand, there's also the other side. That, that that's a big divide in the community. We gotta fix that. Um, and then of course, you know, you have uh, and this is another one of the controversial ones. Um, the BBs. But what you gotta understand is the thing that they taught me is you gotta be willing to die and fight for your freedoms. And that the country in this constitution, it was there's nothing else that they had any kind of an impact with, but that was very impactful. They they were willing to fight and die for to protect this country and the constitution, and that says something. Uh, fathers in hip hop, I mean, dude, eh, yeah, y'all been very great y'all are doing great stuff in the community y'all are i want to see more of that i want to see all that we have to start coming together we have to start making changes guys and we have to start fixing things all of us together and i want to say back over to what i was about to say with team four star Thank you guys. I'm, uh, thank you for all the years you gave us Dragon Ball uh, Bridged. That that was a ton of inspiration into my life. And I also want to say thank you to Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball in particular. Yo, it really helped mold my life because... Goku's willingness to fight to be better and uh, then of course Vegeta's retribution arc uh, his atonement arc whatever you want to call it just this whole thing was that that was very inspirational to me uh, Nanogenics from Rhyme Style love you guys uh, 
I, I want to tell all of you guys, thank you. So I got so many YouTube content creators I want to thank. And I would love, once I get up and running, to come thank every one of you and shake every one of your hands. You, it, What y'all do is very hard. And it's very taxing, and I get that. And I'm pretty sure there's some content creators I have not mentioned. Uh, but I want to tell you all, thank you. Candice, thank you for helping me learn to start studying. You and Ben Shapiro. Uh, clear tax credit guy. A clear value tax credit guy. Thank you, dude. You've been super helpful to me. Uh... I got tons of people I want to thank. I'm even going to go out and say, just because I've, I heard about this and I, I think it at least deserves to have some, you know, some kind of acknowledgement. And I, that, that's even a thank you to AOC because I did not know about what you did. That was not your state. You didn't have to help raise money. And I don't know if you kept him or not. I don't honestly know. But I thank you for what you did for Texas during that freeze. You were correct. And that should he should have stayed. He should have did what his job entailed. So thank you for doing that. Uh, I know you didn't have to. Um, there's a lot of people out there that just deserve to be thanked. And you should thank every one of them. Uh, I bring up about people that are having to work, you know, just eight-hour jobs tomorrow during Christmas. And... <sighs> You know, I, I just, I just want to tell you guys, all of you, thank you. Thank you so much for everything y'all do and every single bit of, whether it be entertainment or it be, uh, just doing something to, for us normal people. And, oh, yeah, Lionel, don't think I forgot you, buddy. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> you, you've you been pretty instrumental to where I came from, too. You've, you, you've definitely helped me think about things in a little different perspective sometimes. So, thank you for that. Um... And then, of course, you know, I want to say that there's just, there's a lot of people that had a lot of influence. And I want y'all to understand that's why I know I can be who I am. And I can stand up and fight for you. I can stand up and fight for you because I've been to all sides. And I know and I can appreciate everything about a particular group and hate some of the other things, but it doesn't mean I can't sit at a table and work with them. I can talk to anybody. What's that cost me? Minutes of my day, minutes of my time, minutes of my day to sit down and talk. I can spare that. And I, I'm going to do that. You can count on it because you, the people, deserve it. You deserve to have a voice. And I want to tell you all, thank you. Thank you so much. And may you all have a great and wonderful Christmas and have a good time. Thank you.